Namaste everyone. I'm your co-host Shauni ma'am. Welcome to your favorite learning channel. The topic for today's video is food chain, food web and the flow of energy. So before understanding about food chain, food web and flow of energy, let's understand how the energy enters into an ecosystem. So how does energy enter into an ecosystem? We know that there is a process called photosynthesis. So energy enters an ecosystem through this process that is through photosynthesis energy enters into an ecosystem. So there are green plants and these green plants perform the process of photosynthesis and we call them producers as they capture solar energy and convert it into chemical energy. This leads to the formation of food for plants that is the food is prepared in the form of glucose so hence as the green plants can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis we call them producers so by this process of photosynthesis energy enters into the ecosystem okay so this energy then reaches to other organisms and how does it happen the energy reaches other organism, those who depend on plants for food. So, as they have plants as their food, the energy then keeps on getting transferred to other organisms. So, this process of taking food, okay, so the process of taking food and being the food and being the food of others that is of other organisms in a linear manner in a linear manner this is called as this process is called this is called the food chain okay so we can say that how can we depict food chain so if there is sun hence we get sunlight from the sun so this sunlight is then utilized by plants or we can say green plants green plants okay so they trap sunlight and they convert solar energy that is the sunlight they convert sunlight into chemical energy then there are several herbivores like we can take an example of caterpillar okay so caterpillar feed on green plants then we can say crow crow is an omnivore that feeds on caterpillar so this i am depicting here is a food chain then crow becomes the food of hawk okay so this is a food chain so what is a food chain? Here it is a process of taking food and being the food of others in a linear manner. So from sunlight the energy was trapped by green plants and was converted into the solar energy was converted into chemical energy by green plants. Then the chemical energy in the plant tissue got transferred to the caterpillars. Okay. Then the chemical energy in caterpillar's tissue got transferred to crow and the chemical energy present in crow got transferred to hawk. Okay, so this is moving in a linear manner and this is called a food chain. Okay, here the green plants become the food of caterpillars, caterpillars become the food of crow, crow becomes the food of hawk. Okay, so now as we know that this linear manner of taking food and being food of others is called food chain 
the position of an organism in a food chain is called that is hierarchically the position of an organism in a food chain hierarchically is called trophic level okay so the producer so here who are the producer the green plants are the producers green plants photosynthesize and prepare their own food so producers will always occupy the first trophic level so we can say that here green plants are the first trophic level okay then the secondary consumer comes in the second trophic level and so on here we can say that here the caterpillar we can call them secondary or we can call them they belong to the second trophic level second trophic level they are the primary consumers okay they are the primary consumers okay they feed on the producers now crow crow is what crow belongs to the third trophic level so and hawk belongs to the fourth trophic level trophic level okay so hawk belongs to fourth trophic level as they feed on the organisms present in third trophic level and so on third trophic level the organisms which belong to third trophic level they feed on the organisms that belong to second trophic level and the organisms that belong to second trophic level feed on the organisms that belong to first trophic level so here the green plants are producers and they belong to first trophic level caterpillar is a herbivore and it belongs to the second trophic level and it is a primary consumer okay then crow here it is an it is a secondary consumer okay so their primary consumers are caterpillars and crow is a secondary consumer okay and at the fourth trophic level is hawk and this is a tertiary tertiary consumer okay so hawk is a tertiary consumer so this is the hierarchical arrangement that takes place in food chain now what is food web okay so how can we define food web food web so what is a food web the interconnected food chain is called food web it is an inter connected it is an interconnected food chain okay so an interconnected food chain is called food web as we can see in this diagram this is a food web and here different food chains are interconnected there are several food chains if we see here there are several different food chains and they are interconnected amongst each other and such type of arrangement is known as food web okay so now let's see how does the flow of energy takes place in this food chain and food web so how does the flow of energy takes place so what happens is the amount of energy reduces as it flows from the lower trophic level to the higher trophic level 
okay so at the lowest there are producers then on producers there primary consumers feed on producers so here the energy level reduces and so on it keeps reducing the flow of energy keeps reducing from the lower trophic level to the higher trophic levels so what happens is why does this happen this is because a portion of energy received by the organism will be used up for its normal activities and only the remaining portion of energy can reach to the next trophic level so a portion of energy can be lost in the form of heat and is utilized for other bodily functions and only one portion or only a small portion of energy gets transmitted or gets transferred to the next trophic level so this is the reason why the flow of energy reduces from the as it moves or as it gets transferred from lower trophic level to the higher trophic level okay so let's now quickly revise the things that we have discussed today so today we have discussed about the food chain food web and the flow of energy so first we understood that energy enters an ecosystem through the process known as photosynthesis so green plants are the producers in the ecosystem they help in trapping the sunlight and converting into chemical energy in the form of glucose so this energy then reaches to other organisms who depend on the plants for their food okay so how can we define this food chain food chain is a process it is a process of taking food and being the food of others in a linear manner so the here the food chain is in linear manner so the food chain will always remain in a linear manner okay so here we have taken an example of food chain that is green plants they perform photosynthesis they capture solar energy and convert it into chemical energy and upon green plants caterpillars feed they are herbivores then crow feed on caterpillar and hawk would feed on crow so here the green plants there is a hierarchy okay so the position of an organism in a food chain hierarchically is called the trophic level okay so producers will always occupy the first trophic level and here the caterpillar would belong to second trophic level as it is the primary consumer then crow would belong to the third trophic level and as it is the secondary consumer and hawk would belong to the fourth trophic level as it is the tertiary consumer then what is a food web food web is actually an interconnected food chain here we can see there are several food chains okay these are several food chains and they are interconnected with each other and such interconnected food chains is called a food web so this interconnected form of food chain is known as food web okay then we discussed about the flow of energy and we know that the energy flow the amount of energy actually reduces as it flows from the lower trophic level that is the producers occupy the lower trophic level and they have most of the energy they receive they have most of the part of the energy and as the energy flows from the producers to the con primary consumers then to the secondary consumers then to the tertiary consumers then to decomposers in this way of transfer of energy the level of energy or the flow of energy here reduces from lower trophic level to the higher trophic level and this is because a portion of energy received by organism will be used up for its normal activities there will be some portion that would be lost as heat and only a small portion of energy would be transferred or the only a remaining portion that is very small portion of energy would be transferred to the next trophic level and due to this reason always the energy flow 
from the lower trophic level to the higher trophic level the amount of energy actually reduces during this flow that is the plant or the producers will have most of the energy whereas while the energy flows from producers to the next to the next trophic level this amount of energy would always reduce as most of the part of the energy would be utilized by the organisms for their normal bodily functions and only the remaining small portion of energy can reach to the next trophic level because of this the amount of energy will always reduce as it flows from the lower trophic level to the higher trophic level so i hope you all would have got some great insights by watching today's video please do not forget to like and share the video till then thank you for watching